Hey guys, Jamie here, Divine Lee Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do a love reading for you guys for the sign of Leo. And Leo's, as usual, messages may or may not resonate. Keep the ones that resonate, leave the ones that don't. Otherwise, it could get very confusing. And cards, when they come in in the reverse, upside down, I read intuitively and I'll provide you messages I receive from Spirit Guides. We're starting off the Spirit of the Animal Oracle for you. We've got Ram Perseverance. Uh, Mm hmm. So uh, you have you have many gifts. Of course you do, Leo's. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. Love it. OK, now we're going to pull unsent messages. These are messages between you and whoever it is you're dealing with. Uh, things that you guys want to say to one another, which you have not said to each other. Perhaps you still want to say to each other. So it could be you or your person here. So uh, let's see what comes out for you guys, Leo's. Messages for Leo's. What unsent messages do you have for Leo and who they're dealing with? Mm, wowzers. All right, well, we're only taking four. So we've got, um, I want to always be your reason. You always ask me how you got so lucky, but my love, the lucky one is me. Truth. Uh, the truth hurts, but I would kill for you. Ooh, you do know that, don't you? Wow. I hope that's not true. <laughs> I watched too many crime shows. I was watching a report on the shooter, too. Like, woo. Don't reach out to me. Wow. I never want to hear from you again. I will throw up at the sight of you. You are nothing to me now. Don't reach out to me. <laughs> it seriously says that, man. Okay. Wow. Wow. I wish I could erase you from my memory. Failed relationship, brutal end. I wish you didn't break me. Oh, wow. These are intense. Okay, there you go. So um, now we're going to pull some uh, love oracle messages, then roll the dice and get uh, knee deep in your reading, Leos. So let's see uh, what we got for love oracle messages for you guys, Leos. Love oracle messages for the sign of Leo. And one more, please. Thank you. Oh, boy. Well, well. Third party situation. Other people may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential. That could be anything. You know, it could be another person, like a, a friend or a, like a jealous friend or a family member, you know, mother-in-law to be or father-in-law to be, you know. And we've got to uh, have faith. You got to have faith, the faith, the faith, baby. The angels are working behind the scene to make this relationship flourish. Have faith. And uh, we've got love your shadow. Accept and work with the flaws in yourself so that you can learn to accept others as they are. Wow, that's deep, huh? Never really looked at it that way, you know? Hmm. Okay. Perspective, guys, right? Okay, well, we're about to roll the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to roll until they have five different letters. Could confirm, <laughs> could confirm your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, a place you guys have in common, whatever helps you identify who it is you're dealing with. First letter is O. And K, so okay so far. <laughs> and uh, you, you okay? <laughs> I know, I'm stupid. Anyway, we got K again twice. E, I just mean I'm being ridiculous. I don't like the word stupid. I don't know why I said that. We have the letter S <laughs> after I just said that. So there you go. We've got S-E-U. Oh, we've got Sue. S-U-E. 
And uh, okay. There you go. So now uh, let's get into your reading, guys. My readings are timeless. Could have happened already. Could be happening right now or could happen in your future. Just keep that in mind uh, during the reading as well as vice versa, which means I could say this is you, Leo, but you strongly feel like your person is here and you are over there and that's fine. And then the energies between the two of you will be what we finish off with. Let's uh, get into your reading, Leos. What is Leo dealing with, Spirit Guides, for Leo's energies? Leo's energies. King of Swords. Uh, well, you, perhaps you're dealing with somebody who's very dominant. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and Air Sign. Uh, they don't have to be an Air Sign. They could just be somebody who's very uh, dominant and uh, very alpha energy. Alpha male, alpha female. You know, somebody who's got a lot of... Uh, Divine Masculine Energy. Ooh, baby, here you are, Leo. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. You know, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's got difficulties with emotions, but not when they're with you. It's like they can tell you anything. Mm. Oh, look, the two of cups. You breathe me in. I breathe you in. Could be a, you know, a connection that's very different than uh, your usual type or expectation, you know. Could be different di race, different religion, different height, different weight. You know, whatever, whatever's different. And I feel like that's what's attracting you to one another. Well, 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 judgment. Letting the past go right out the window, baby. It's time to let go of the past. And let yourself soar to a new beginning. Okay, this is uh, the uh, energy of uh, the phoenix rising from the ashes. The dead coming out of their coffins here, rising, leaving their old life behind and coming into a new beginning. And the fool taking a leap of faith and not overthinking it like you always do. I'm a Leo son, Leo moon. Yep. Overthinking is my thing, but uh, I've learned to slow down on that. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, first step is admitting you have a problem. <laughs> so uh, let's see what we've got to clarify that King of Swords, Leo's King of Swords. Clarify is the King of Swords. Why is he here? Hmm. Well, 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 is he weighing you down? Is this a heavy burden you're carrying with this person? Hmm. Ten of Wands, that's what it is. Carrying a heavy burden. Look at that. Eight of Wands. Is this a fast forward more of an energy? You know, you're going to be riding the wind soon, uh, trying to uh, get the hell out of Dodge here or something. I don't know. Okay, and, uh, ooh, perhaps not. A lover's in a dangerous time. Perhaps you're coming out of a heavy time that you have been in and getting some communication from um, someone who uh, is uh, perhaps Gemini energy, since we've got the King of Swords as Gemini energy as well as the lovers. So uh, it doesn't have to be a Gemini, but that is the most prominent uh, energy here. And uh, we've got uh, the sun. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> Clarify the sun, spirit guides. Holy shit, banana bonkers. Well, well, well. Is this the new beginning you're having and the king's swords you're leaving behind? Fire on fire. All I hear is Sam Smith. Or I can't hear, I can't sing fire. Sam Smith, man. Uh, I can't, like, hit that, that, those notes. <laughs> I won't, I won't hurt your ears even trying. Because it probably sound like a cat with its tail stuck in the door. And we don't want to hear that. Look at you. Undecided. You're like, yeah, I'm not sure if we're open yet. Heart chakra's a little on the closed off side. I feel like you dealt with somebody who was dragging you down. And I feel like you moved on. And uh, I feel like you did love this person. But you loved yourself more to not deal with this uh, heavy energy this person was bringing into your life. And I feel like this new person that's coming in is uh could, could be another leo i'm feeling could definitely be another leo and uh, you're just like this is a trap 
<laughs> the hangman, you're like, I've self-sacrificed enough of myself, man. Okay, like your head is uh, lit up there for a reason because this is you finally seeing life, you know, in a different way. Seeing uh, things in a new perspective, seeing things that you perhaps weren't seeing before because you were too busy doing everything for everybody else and not for yourself. Mm -hmm. Self-sacrificing your happiness for others. And I feel like that's what happened. That got so heavy that you weren't getting anything back from this person and it was just becoming too heavy and you had to let it go. And now that you're single, you've got this energy that's interested in you and you're just like, I don't know, bud or buddy or but at, you know. Two of Cups, we're clarifying next. Well, look, the death. You're busy going through a spiritual transformation, Scorpio energy. You're letting the past go and uh, you're making room for a better life. So uh, you're, uh, see the sun here by my finger here? It's rising. This is telling you when a door closes, a new one opens. And we've got judgment here in the fool. So, looking good. And well, 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 the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You may have water in your chart. If not, you're just somebody who's very kind, caring, nurturing, loving. And people sometimes take advantage of your kindness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trust me, Leos, I know. I'm a Leo too. Leo sun, Leo moon, right? Eight of cups. Letting go of that. Let go of the chip on your shoulder you got from that, you know? <sighs> yeah. As hard as it is, you know, no one is as nice as you are and you can't expect everyone to be as nice as yourself, okay, Leos? If you want to be the big giver, well, you're going to have to realize that you're not going to get much in return. And if you do, great. But if you don't, you have to finally realize that, you know what, you're just somebody who's a really big giver. You love to make other people smile and be happy and bring a lot of joy to their life. And sometimes you forget to bring some to your own. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups is telling me that. And now judgment. Can you clarify the judgment, please, spirit guides? I feel like what you have been waiting for will be coming very soon to a theater near you. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune! Wheel of Fortune! Your life is going to change. Fate, destiny, divine timing. Everything is happening in the order that it needs to happen. Why? Because technically it's already happened, but that's another story. Anywho, so yeah, it's like, uh, don't overthink it. <sighs> you do overthink it. You're like, they're going to lie to me. They're going to cheat on me. They're going to do something shitty to me. And I'm going to be left, you know, standing there like a throbbing sore thumb going, yeah, here we go again. Another one bites the dust. Psh, and another one bites. Another one bites. Another one bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Right? It's like, mmm. Biatch, right? So you got the fool. Clarify the fool. The fool. Aquarius energy. You need to take a leap of faith and not overthink it. If you feel it's right, just go for it, man. If you overthink it, <laughs> well, you could miss the opportunity or, uh, you know, you snooze, you lose, right? The hermit. Oh, you weren't thinking about this. Don't overthink. Once you find your light, your path, your way, the direction you want to go in, get cracking, Mackin. Okay? And look at you, Leos. Uh, this is Leo energy. Victory, success. Look, you're coming back victorious from the war. And there's somebody in this corner looking a little uh, jealous of you, giving you like this weird look. And uh, yeah, it could very well be that someone is jealous of all of your success. I mean, come on. Look at that. King of Cups. So it could be a uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, another fire sign, another Leo, or a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I feel like this person values your kindness and generosity. Okay? I feel like they won't take advantage of you. This person is very um, emotionally available. And uh, perhaps you've got the choice between two as well for some of you guys. Or this person could just encompass both the energies of uh, the King of Wands and King of Cups. Okay. Let's see your person's energies. 
Okay, so Leo's person's energies, please, spirit guides. Leo's person's energies. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is how they see you. Somebody who's very independent, grounded, abundant, and uh, you don't need anybody to hold your hand through life. And they like that. They like somebody who, uh, you know, is independent, grounded, successful. Nine of Cups. Oh, my goodness. I feel like you are their wish fulfillment. Everything about you is what they love. Five of Pentacles. I feel like they've been alone for a while, though. They've been single for quite some time. Perhaps they were ghosted, dumped, and uh, <laughs> they just couldn't be bothered to search for love again. Eight of Wands. Well, well, look at that cat, the way they walk. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. So this could be um, communication energy, your social media, fast, fast, forward moving energy. We're going to clarify there uh, with this deck in a sec. That rhymes, I'm a poet, and I don't even know it. <laughs> Ooh, wow, we got eight of pentacles. Eight of wands and eight of pentacles. Uh, 88, eight. Okay, well, well, well. Uh, so, I just feel like there's a major focus on, I mean, I feel like this person is very focused about what it is they want. Perhaps it's you. We're, we're going to see here, queen of pentacles. I feel like they've been real lonely for a while. You know, they feel like they were forgotten out in the cold, like this poor little kitty cat. Look at him. Poor little, like, he's going to turn into a little popsicle. I let my cats out on the deck in the winter because they enjoy it. And sometimes I have, like, moments where I'm like, oh, my God, did I let them in? And I, like, run to the deck and then I see them comfortably laying. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I, I don't think I would ever forget them. It's just, you know, I, I uh, yeah, I'm terrified to forget them. This <laughs> is what it is. So Queen of Pentacles. We're clarifying for Leo's person. Are you effing kidding me? They feel like with you, you guys could have it all. Ten of Pentacles is uh, winning the lottery, uh, having a, uh, you know, uh, a large inheritance given to you, um, building a family, combining incomes, and being very abundant together. <laughs> I feel like you encompass everything to this person. I feel like you just came out of nowhere, perhaps. We'll see. Nine of Cups. Holy shit, banana bonkers. I said, you're their wish fulfillment. Wow. Like, you got two nines twice. And seven of Cups. Oh, this person has a lot of choices. A lot of people are interested in this person, but they have zero interest in them. It's like their energies don't jive with them, and they just... They don't even give it attention. They don't entertain any of that. I mean, for them, I feel like they're comfortable alone, but I feel like right now it's uh, starting to get a little lonely, I feel, for them. Nine of Cups for clarifying, you know. You are their wish fulfillment. Queen of flipping wands. Uh, this is Leo energy. Are you freaking kidding me? You are their wish fulfillment. You are everything this person has ever wanted. In a partner. Queen of Swords. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You speak your mind. You get shit done. And I mean, come on. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and now Queen of Swords. They love your independent, grounded energy. They, they love the fact that you tell it like it is because uh, they don't like a guessing game. Are you kidding me? King and Queen of Swords right here, okay? Wow. This is a little bit crazy. It could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini you're dealing with, or it's somebody who's very dominant in a position of power. They could be a police officer in the Army, in the Navy, in the Marines, uh, you know, a lawyer, a judge. They could be, you know, working in the legal system. Five of Pentacles, I and mean, I feel like they were ghosted, abandoned, and they have been alone for a while. But I feel like they're ready to communicate, reach out. Two of flipping cups. Look at that. Two of cups, two of cups. Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this the love that I've been searching for? It sure is. Oh, my gosh. 
you know, they've been lonely for a while, baby. And uh, they were okay until they saw you. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, come on over, Rover. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they've been holding on tight to dear life to everything that they have. And they have not let anybody in in a long time. In a long time, the hanged man. You know why? Because they self-sacrificed a lot of themselves in their life and it didn't really get them anywhere. You know, the good guy finishes last. The good girl finishes last. You know, it's like, they're like, why? Why? You know, I gave and gave and got nothing. And now, mm -hmm. so eight of wands. I'm not sure what they're doing with this eight of wands. Are they ready to move forward at a fast pace or are they... Uh, on social media or I don't know if you are meeting this person on social media. I know a lot of people don't do that anymore. It's dangerous, you know, or meet somewhere in a public place. But even then, three of swords. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person has had their heart broken. And perhaps it was meeting someone on social media is what I'm getting here. Justice, Libra energy. And I feel like this really, this could have brought like um. I, I hate to say it, but a, like a legal matter for them where they could have met somebody a little cuckoo, cuckoo, you know, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Eight of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? Eight of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles. They have been focusing on their job, their occupation. They have been through, I feel like, hell and back when it comes to love. And I feel like they see you. They, they, um, they're interested, but it's like... They haven't dated in so long, and the last time was, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, too much drama for them. And, oh, look, drama-free zone. No drama, but it happened anyway. So maybe I'm jinxing it by having that there. <laughs> no, I can't change your life, right? So I'm feeling like you guys have both dealt with really um, energies that did not respect you, who don't deserve you. And, you know, when they disappear, like a fart in the wind, you know what? They did you a favor. Five of swords. Yeah, it was like a lose-lose situation. You're like, look at you. You're holding your head. You're like, what happened? Like, what happened? Like, I don't understand what happened here. Like, you, you were just, your person, I mean, is just so confused about what happened in their relationship. And three of wands. They have been just... Waiting for the right person to come along. If the right person comes along, then so be it. Otherwise, they weren't searching. And you've got the same freaking thing here. Three of Wands. It's like you guys are mirroring each other here. Queen of Cups. Wow, wow, wow. You've got every queen here. You've got Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and now Queen of Cups. That means you are Empress Energy. The Empress is the mother of all queens of tarot. So all the queens have come out. So... I feel like you encompass the Empress energy. And we're going to do the energies between you both right now. So let's see. So let's see Leo's A. Eh? Hope you guys like my new tree A. Eh? I'm Canadian A. Eh? <laughs> I'm from Canada and they say I'm slow A. Eh? If you guys watch The Simpsons, is The Simpsons, you guys are laughing right now. Because <laughs> that's from The Simpsons. I think this is a new kid in class or something. I remember the episode vaguely. I just remember that scene like it was yesterday. <laughs> I'm from Canada. They say I'm slow, eh? It's just the way he says it, eh? We don't all sound like that, but whatever. Let's see the energies between you guys. Leo's energies between the Leo's and who they are dealing with, please. Thank you. The star, Aquarius energy. Well, well, they're wondering if you're famous, if you're a superstar, right? The star is Aquarius energy and it's all about shining, glowing after a period of healing. And it's like you're, you're at your um, brightest. Your energies are just shining, glowing. I mean, all I see is... Uh, I'm your private dancer. I'm dancing for money. Do any old music will do. I'm not sure if that's the right lyrics, but whatever. <laughs> that's all I see. It looks like she's pole dancing or somebody's pole dancing. <laughs> Maybe that's your thing. Maybe you got a pole in your room, some of you guys. 
any little kinky ones. So we've got the Six of Swords. Oh, well, needing to let go of conflict, drama, moving to calmer waters. I mean, look at you. You're just like needing to go. And uh, it looks like you're uh, with someone. Could be your child or uh, someone helping you be able to move to calmer waters. Seven of Cups. You've got a lot of options. So does your person. But you guys are not attracted or interested in any of those energies, right? You need to connect on like a soul level and the moon. You guys are both afraid you're going to be alone for the rest of your lives. I feel like you guys are both feeling that way. Mm-hmm. Okay, Leos, let's clarify these. Okay. Clarify the star. Clarify the star spirit guys. Clarify the star for Leo's energies. Well, oh, thank you. Ace of air. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. A lot of communication that's going to be happening, okay? And um, even says like things could get, uh, things could start off like a little rocky in the beginning, but uh, this is just going to help you uh, reshape your goals into something even better in your life. So uh, however you resonate with that, it's like uh, the energy of a new beginning as well. Victory, success is the energy of the star. Or the star. I'm looking at the stars. I said that my brain just talks for me. Ace of air. Well, well, well. Put the past in the freaking past, guys. Ten of swords. Ten of air. Even says here. It could be the end of a relationship that brings a feeling of mixed joy, sadness, relief, disappointment. But put aside your fears these for about these changes and trust that a brighter future awaits you. Mm -hmm. Let it go. I mean, the moon. I see the fear in both of you guys. The dreamer. What, afraid to take a leap of faith? Uh-huh. And let the past go. Ten of swords. Let the past go. And you've got the fool right here, too. So you've got the fool here twice, needing to let go. And um, it even says here, you're starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. I mean, look, he's got no knees, man. Can you imagine he made it across? I don't know how that could, you know, don't your knees like absorb the shock when you land? Like that's a pretty high intense jump for a little uh, shepherd puppy. Poor thing. <laughs> sad. I don't know. It just looks so like short. You know, like corgis, they don't have freaking knees either. I don't understand those poor little dogs that don't have knees. You must have to put little steps for all of them, you know? Otherwise, they, they can't get down. Poor thing. So six of swords. Six of swords. Four of air. I see what you're 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 trying to do. You're trying to like find some peace, some balance, find your light, your path, your way. You have the hermit here, which four swords is a very similar energy, and even says thoroughly thinking through before you're making any decisions. A good idea, but don't overanalyze because that's not going to get you any closer to a resolution. But meditation and prayer can help you get those answers. Look at that. You need to let go of the sadness in your life. You know, five of, of waters is, you know, going through depression. And it's okay to not be okay. I mean, we all go through periods, you know. You know, a couple months, you're not feeling okay. You know, you're off work. You're on disability for depression, you know, because you're just feeling down. You're a human being. We've all been there. You know, you burn out and you, you just need a freaking break. You know, your brain is about to explode. And all you do is cry every day. And I don't know if that's what's happening to you, but if you're you're like crying a lot because this has just been too much for you. But uh, yeah, four of earth. Mm -hmm. Look at that, man. You've got like the four of air, the four of earth. It's like you, you're holding on tight to dear life to everything. You know, you're you're not wanting to really open up to much of anybody. I feel like your trust is like at an all time low right now. Seven of Cups. You're just afraid of opening up to the wrong person. Look, the moon, the moon. You guys are both fearing the same thing. Okay, put your fears aside, man. 
It says it's important to trust your intuition, even if you're unsure about what's going to be happening, okay, in the future. All will be revealed soon, and your worrying is unnecessary. It's saying at the bottom right there. So, uh, yeah. Just saying, and Queen of Air again. You speak your mind, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. They like that about you. They don't have. It's not a guessing game. They don't have to wonder about you. And I feel like you're somebody who like clears away anything that no longer serves you in your life. Now you're like been there, done that. You know, and I feel like that's why you're just so careful. King of Water, King of Cups. This person loves deep, unconditional, right down to the core. And look, they're a family person, you know. They want they want children. They want a family or blend a family, grow a family, whatever. It says there's going to be a trusty person or a relationship that's going to enter your life. And you may receive some wise, compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from their heart to you. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that could be uh, what's going on here because there's a lot of fear and... How do you get rid of fear? You conquer your fear, right? Go and ask them out. You know, beat them to it. Beat them to the punch. Well, 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 look at that. Because there's the ten of water, okay? I can't make this up, guys. The prairie dog with their little family. And you got the king there with their little family. So it says it's time to express your love and appreciation. Uh, to everyone close to you, and uh, you may be starting a fulfilling uh, relationship, such as a marriage, raising a family, or uh, raising some children, or balancing, uh, uh, you know, uh, oh my gosh, a united family, blending families, right? Unity, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Wow, you could be some of you guys blending families too. And uh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth on both of your sides. Uh, and um, you guys are going to realize that you guys are on the same sacred path together. And that you guys uh, met each other for a reason. Because everything happens for a reason. And look at this. I can't make this shit up, man. Look, king of fire. Come on, baby, let my fire Try to set the night on fire. Oh, you just hear the organ now. <laughs> I gotta get an organ. Dude. I guess it only apply to that song. <laughs> okay. Let's get you a soulmate card, Leo's. Close your eyes. Whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax. Feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. All right, Leos. A loving thought triggers a loving response. Uh, your love is felt and appreciated and an angel surrounds you. A sacred union is born, the union of twin souls within a threefold flame. Cha-ching! Well, well, looks looking good to me. Okay, Leos, and let's see what we've got for a healing oracle for you. What healing oracle does Leo need to hear, spirit guide? And I do offer personal readings, guys. Check out the description box down below. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. Really, uh, thumb, thumb. It, yeah, I guess the thumb up. Whatever. You know, the, the thumb up. Here I'm like, what the hell am I doing? And anyway, uh, share the read to anybody who you feel uh, could use these messages, okay? And uh, hit that subscribe, guys. It's free. And that way you don't miss any of my videos. So you can see my idiocy. <laughs> Give you a good laugh there, you know. It's always good to laugh at your own follies, right? So uh, here I am. Wow, look at that, Leo. You got balance. Bet you that's what you want in your life. Don't we all want balance? I sure would. Anyway, we've got, uh, and I'm a Leo sun, Leo moon, so uh, please let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Okay, you know, I tell you, my head's like a jukebox. I'm sorry. I find a balance between each sphere of life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical. I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul. 
spectacular. Love, love, love this for you guys, Leos. I sure hope you enjoyed that reading and uh, message me. Uh, emails uh, in the description box down below if you would like a personal reading. I only have four uh, right now that uh, I have uh, to get through. So uh, I still have room for a couple more guys. So uh, whoever pays first gets to be the next one in line. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, with that said, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this world, Leos. I appreciate you guys way more than you can imagine. Because without you, I'd be nothing. And uh, yeah, that wouldn't be cool. So I love you. Thank you. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, Leos.